Good morning, everyone. How are you? Yes, last night we had our 4th of July celebration. This welcome to Margaret's Kitchen. Comidas de mi familia. Tu sangre es tu sangre is my authentic New Mexico cookbook. Anyways, um, yesterday we had leftover grilled jalapenos and the tomatoes for the for the burgers and uh, and onions. We used purple onions. So I decided to make basically a chopped salsa with the leftovers with the leftover vegetables including the jalapenos and then I had some more jalapenos that I decided to go ahead and grill as well in my um, in my skillet here my little grill grill here grill pan and um, you know just to have those so I said I'm gonna do that and so I decided I told I told Jesse I said let's go outside and and make breakfast and then what I'm also doing is I am also, hold on a second, I am also making my fried papas. Hold on a second. Just a second. I, um, I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and do my papas in here and stuff, but I'm gonna put this down for just a quick second because what we're also doing is, Mr. is, we got some fresh wild spinach and so I'm also boiling them to uh, get them prepared for the, you know, for the freezer. So that way when we make <coughs> the calabacitas and quelites for, for the, for Lent, we um, we will have fresh, fresh, fresh um, quelites for everything. So it's going to be nice. So, anyways, like I said, what I'm doing is I am I am making our. Um, hold on. Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me. Let me let you see my salsa while I'm doing this. Gotta just grab one thing. Okay, so what I wanted to show you is my quelites. So how do you prepare them for the freezer? Is you get basically gonna blanch them in um, salt water. Just blanch them. See how nice they are? These are ready now to drain and let them cool down and then we'll put them in the freezer. So this is how you do the wild spinach. So remember anything that already has seeds, it's not good. If it's turning yellow, it's not good. So it has to be the green, just like Mr. Oh, look, I'm frying some papas outside. But here's the wild spinach again. That's what it looks like. So it's just beautiful wild spinach so anyways it'll be good just for any meal you know when you're making pastas or whatever you want to make so anyway so last night we also had some leftover ribeyes so boneless ribeyes so I'm gonna get these and I'm gonna put them on the grill and then we have fresh <laughs> eggs from the chickens uh, thanks to Martha and Andrew Salas they gifted us with uh, what three dozen fresh chicken eggs. I was so excited. Yay. And so again, hi everyone. Thank you for joining me in Margaret's Kitchen. I'm just doing basically a quick video because I wanted you guys to see my salsa that I'm making, my chopped salsa with the leftover onions and tomatoes. And then of course we had grilled some jalapenos and I did put a little bit of cilantro in here. And then I put some garlic powder, garlic salt. And then I also, um, that's pretty much it. I added a little bit of hot of hot water. I have a hot water right here that automatic hot water and stuff. So I'm really excited about that and stuff. So anyway, so this is my little grill basket and stuff. So it's exciting because I um I really enjoy doing all this stuff. You know, it's fun and everything. So then what look at this. Look at how nice these are grilling in my basket. So anyway, so that's how you grill your jalapenos. And you know what? The funny part about jalapenos is that you don't peel them. When you grill them like this, people just love to eat them this way. They hold it by the stem, and that's how they love to eat it. 
So anyway, so that's where that's at. So, and then I had made some fresh tortillas. So here's my tortillas. So I'm gonna warm them on the grill a little bit. Once my papas are, are ready, I will grill them. And then, um, I just love my outdoor kitchen. Let me show it to you. I just love, those of you that haven't seen it, I just love my outdoor kitchen. So right where the blue bowl is at, that's where we, that's a griddle. So it's a really nice griddle, cast iron and stuff. And so anyways, um, and then it has two burners. So it, you know, there's a couple of things I'm sure we could, we could possibly use, but right at this point, I'm happy, you know? And then of course, we have our little refrigerator here. So it has stuff from yesterday. So nice and cold. So and then drawers and everything. So we just love it. You know, we just love it. But anyways, this is what we're doing. And I just really wanted to showcase the spinach. I just I already turned it off. So I just wanted to showcase it. And now what I'm going to do. Hold on a second. You guys can watch what I'm going to do. So I have to lift it off the thing to drain it. So I think you guys can see it. Yeah. So I'm going to just drain it. So hang on. The only thing about, you know, I mean, your space is a little small and stuff because you don't, it's not as big as a, your kitchen at home, but it's nice. I love my kitchen. So this is all you do, just drain it. And I'm using one of these, uh, what are they, like kettles, I guess? Uh, the old kettles, and a lot of people use these for camping and stuff. But let me tell you, they are good for your outdoor kitchen. So I'm just draining it. Let me get this, and I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So see how beautiful the spinach looks? So anyways, again, it's wild spinach. We all have it growing in our yard. Pull it, pluck it. And you know, rinse it real good, and then throw it into some boiling water. Uh, hi, Hito, Josh. I am. Um, I'm just actually making brunch. We had some leftover ribeyes, and I'm making some heirloom potatoes, fried potatoes, and some eggs, fresh eggs from the from the chickens from the Salas Farms tortillas. And I made some again, uh, chopped a uh, chopped salsa. And you know what, I do have green chili. So, you know, cause sometimes the salsa, cause it's all jalapeno, it may be a little too hot for mister. So I got some, you know, I had the green chili left over as well. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. And then grilling the jalapenos. And those, I would probably won't use them. So I'm gonna probably put them in a baggie and stick them in the freezer and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. And blanching wild spinach blanching wild spinach so this is the spinach again J hubby picked it all from around our yard the garden area lots of spinach and so uh, he's cleaning it while I'm doing the cooking but anyways I just wanted to share with you share with you all this and stuff and um, a real quick video and then this week I'm gonna I'm gonna do a really neat video this week and stay tuned for an announcement and so I have some fun stuff that I'm going to be doing, including a Zoom class, actually, with um, Soldiers Angels, I think. Um, Nelida from um, El Paso, she's, she's an amazing, amazing person. And so she asked me to do an online cooking class. So that's what I'm going to be doing and stuff. I wish all of you could join us, but it's for, you know, military, retired uh spousal caregivers of wounded wounded warriors that served in in war or just served in the military but anyways so hey thank you all for joining me and we'll talk to you all soon look there's the spinach talk to you later love you all bye don't forget subscribe to my youtube channel um youtube margaret's kitchen n m for new mexico subscribe give me a thumbs up please and uh, don't forget my cookbook. You can get it on my Amazon storefront, amazon.com backslash shops backslash Maria Baca. Comidas de mi familia, tu sangre es tu sangre is the name of my cookbook. Or Maria Baca, hello, you can find it that way. 
And um, but anyways, subscribe, you guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. Love you. God bless you. Bye.